Hi, Leo. <clears throat> I'm an energy worker. I'm here today with a 10-day forecast for the sign of Leo. So anyone who has Leo strongly in their chart, this message could resonate with you. This is a 10-day forecast. All right, Leo, let's get into this reading for you. 10-day forecast for the sign of Leo. 10-day forecast for the sign of Leo. Leo, 10-day forecast. And there you are in your glory, Leo. Knight of Rods, moving forward on something. All right? That, that's a Sagittarius energy, but it is a fiery energy, and Leo can very easily be in that energy, the Knight of Rods energy. Leo, there's a new experience here for you. There is a new experience here. You have been through a long period of conflict and decision-making. You could have been blocking things that have been coming towards you, arguments that have been coming towards you, conflicts. You have, could have been in um, an environment of conflict, generally. An environment of conflict some way or another. There has been conflict. We see the Five of Swords energy over the whole entire reading, and we do see the Two of Swords. So whatever this conflict was, it has... Um, demanded or will be demanding from you some kind of a decision. There's a crossroads here, and the Two of Swords can often signify a crossroads that has some kind of intellectual pain, right? It's not so much as heart pain. Well, it can be heart pain, but there is some kind of dilemma within the mind of making this decision. There's, there is confusion around, oh yeah, here we go, and there's a confusion card, okay? <laughs> Okay, so um, there we do have the Seven of Cups here um, next to the Two of Swords and next to the Nine of Swords. So whatever conflict this was, it is bringing the need here to make a decision in the next 10 days or in the next upcoming future, or some of you could have already made this decision. Um, it is it is not, uh, again, it's, 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 if you have already made the decision, you have been through a period of confusion, fogginess, worry. Um, you haven't really been able to see the details clearly. Um, there, There is information that's not being shared with you. You are blindfolded and are needing to make some kind of a decision here without knowing all of the information. That's why you are confused. That's why you're worried. It's because you don't have all the information that you need. Right, Leo? That's why. It's not because you're worried. It, it's not because... Let me start over. It's not because you're scared. It's not because you don't want to move forward. It's not because you don't want to change. It's because you don't have all the information. And that's what's creating this worry and this confusion here about whatever um, decision that you've had to make. Uh, I think for most of you, this decision has is in the past. But for some of you, this decision could be upcoming in the next 10 days or so. Nevertheless, nevertheless, Leo, you have the ability now to make a decision. You have the independence to make a decision. It's truly your choice now. This has always been your choice, and you do have a choice in this. The choice could be difficult, and the choice could bring consequences that would will bring, you know, new challenges to you, but you do have a choice, and you do have this sense of optimism now. There's something that's coming in in the next 10 days or has just come in. It's this new sense of optimism. It's a new sense of passion. It's, it's like almost in a way there's something that's clearing up for you here, um, it could be that that you've had to win some kind of a battle. Um, there's something here that's clearing in the air. Whatever that is and why it's clearing, I'm not sure. But I think that something has, has happened. There has been like one extra thing that's happened that's brought clarity. I really feel there, there has been maybe one last argument, one last conflict that has brought clarity to you. And so f in the next 10 days or so, we see you moving out walking away from something or deciding to walk away from something that has brought you um, a sense of confusion, worry. Um, it's, it's brought you, um, it, it's kept you in the dark. It's, it's, it's been a very uncomfortable feeling. And we do see here, this is probably something around work. It's probably something around work for, for Leo or occupation or something that you've been focusing your time on. It looks like um, you are going to be move, moving away from one situation and moving into another situation. You're really considering um, what it is that you like to do with your with your work or with your capacities that you have, with your talents, with your, with your with your natural abilities. It is having the sense of needing to add more creativity into your life, needing to add more 
um, daydreaming, needing to add more future contemplation, um, opening up the future. This is about allowing a new, uh, a daydreaming quality, a daydreaming kind of quality to arise within your, within your perspectives or what arise within your, um, reflections to, to bring in a, a, a new way of thinking about the future, uh, a new way of thinking about the future. Uh, um, what, what are they, what's that feeling that I'm feeling? It's getting a renewed sense of, of potential for the future. Whatever you're doing here, whatever you're walking away from, there is a, a new revitalized sense within you that there can be a new future for you, that it can be beautiful, that it can be creative, that it can be something that's just innately built for you. You know, you're, you're starting to feel inspired again to connect with something like this. It looks like there are a couple messages coming in for you. There is a message here um, that will give you some kind of potential, some kind of um, that will extend to you some kind of um, inkling or invitation or um, an inkling or an invitation or or some kind of smaller tangible gift that's going to come forward that's going to give you momentum as you start this new opportunity here because we definitely have a new opportunity coming in. All right, I'll get to the top row um, in a minute. That's the good row. That's where you're going to see this brilliance that's coming into your reality. But there is a, an offer extending out to you or you're connecting with it, whether it's through like a, a job search or, or whatever it is, there is something that's, that you're connecting with in some way that is a real offer, something that you feel could be a real tangible, beautiful, um, experience for you. And, and I feel like this offer that's coming out is going to be the offer that brings you this next, um, this next new experience. All right. There's also a message of, of encouragement here that's coming from someone, message of encouragement, a message of support, a message of passion, a, a reminder of, of what you truly excel in. There's some friend here or some acquaintance or, or a family member or a lover or someone who's going to come forward and remind you of of those qualities within you, remind you of those dreams and those goals that you have, remind you of who you are as a person, could be a sister or brother or a mother, somebody who really knows you well is going to say, but remember, you've always wanted to do this. But remember, this has always been on your mind. You've always had a passion for this. Some kind of message like that that's going to give you extra strength, that's going to help to propel you forward into whatever this new journey is, this new offer, or this new... Um, indication of some kind of potential here, right? It's not an ace of, it is not an ace of pentacles. It's a page of pentacles. So it is not actually the situation that's coming in for you now. It is an indication of the situation. It's a connection to a new job or a connection to a new position in some way or another. But we do see you here walking away from something um, that kept you in a place of constraint in some way. You're moving very passionately forward in defense in defense and in very strong verbal defense, communication, defending what you're doing, defending this new journey. You know, it is a new journey that will totally mesh, mesh you in with emotional fulfillment. It's like there's a picture coming to me of you, um, moving onto a new trail and of seeing out in the woods, out in the, out in the forest, indications of happiness, indications of colors, indications of sparkles, right? Indications of fairies and leprechauns and everything um, that, that is magic in your world. And you're starting to see glimpses of it. And it's almost like as you step onto this new path, that happiness that's out in the forest will come closer and closer and closer, be intrigued by you, be connected and pulled towards you. And it's almost like the happiness that emotional fulfillment and you, your heart center, your dedication, your cause, your passion is a magnet to the happiness that is available around you. And those two qualities merge together. And it's very beautiful how that comes together. So when you first step onto this path, um, and I, and I don't feel like this is in the next 10 days, I feel like the next 10 days is what we went over first. Um, what you're moving through and the decisions you're making and, and coming to a crossroads, but what's ahead of you is a brand new journey a brand new journey, doing something different, doing something that brings you so much happiness. And it could have something to do with moving. It could have something to do with traveling. It could have do, to do with saving people. 
emergency rescues coming forward, um, you know, helping, helping humanity in some way. Um, again, it's, it's taking and, and leading people and helping people to find peace. There's something here about either you moving and finding peace in a different place or you moving into different situations and helping other people find peace, find peace and solace and healing in some way or another. All right, so it's a beautiful future that's ahead for you. It's just now the the process is now kind of exiting from the current the current experience that you're having or the current situation that you're in and moving into this next new situation that's coming forward to you. You will have to do some work to connect with this opportunity. Um, I, I feel like it's a it's a it's a common connection. So it's you reaching out and somebody being accepting. There's two people that are connecting. It's not like something is just being given to you. Um, there is some work involved where you're reaching out and connecting with someone and someone is connecting in with you. I do feel like it's like an online job search or, or somehow there is a connection here with a new potential for you. So it will take some like um, thinking out of the box, thinking differently about what you've been doing. Whatever this is, is something brand new that you've never done before. So I think that you're really looking at your future um, job possibilities with a new fresh perspective and opening up new options for you, not staying maybe in the same industry or maybe not staying in the same very specific quadrant of an industry. You're allowing yourself to think of, of yourself working in different industries, maybe in different capacities. And, and it's through this kind of open-minded thought that you connect in with some new type of potential um, that's going to bring you um, a lot of fulfillment here, emotional fulfillment with the Ten of Cups. So while you're going through this um, this stressful and anxiety-filled time with these changes and these desires that are kind of bubbling up in you, just know that when you walk away and when you make changes in your life like this and when you look at where your unhappiness is stemming from and decide to change that cause, you can really enter into a brand new reality for yourself. And we do see that is coming true here for you in the future with the changes that you're making. All right, with the changes that you're making. Let's dig into this page of pentacles that I think is really important. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Why is the Page of Pentacles here for Leo? Now, it's a brand new work. It's a brand new opportunity with the Ace of Wands, the Higher Font, and the Nine of Wands. Let's see if anything else comes out here. Okay, it's a brand new opportunity. The Ace of Wands is here. So this is a brand new job, a brand new relationship, something brand new that fills you with passion, that gives you an excitement for the future, that puts you on a brand new um, path in a way, but it's something that you know is very abundant and it feels like it is made just for you. It really fills you with fire, fills you with, fills you with that powerful, um, feeling of the, the feeling that you can really do this. You can really make this work. This is for you. This is something that is just almost in a way fits perfectly for you. And even though you may have not done it before, you know that you have the qualities to fulfill it and you know that you have the passion and the fire and the creative energy to be able to make this work. So it is a brand new opportunity that's coming towards you. All right. So while it's still, while in the next 10 days or so in the next immediate time um, forecast, this is a page of pentacles. This is, uh, at the beginning of the ca connection to this opportunity, there is a, an actual opportunity here waiting to be found by you. This could be an opportunity with a university. It could be an opportunity with a religious organization. It could be an opportunity with a large company, a large company of like-minded people, of people that are all moving in the same direction, that have all the same goals, right? It could be a, um, a spiritual opportunity that brings um, um, knowledge and, and, um, and help to other people who are looking for, for some kind of help. Um, it, it does have a, a nine of wands energy to it. So you, you have all the capacities, you have all the experiences that you need to be able to be successful with this. The nine of wands is a, it's an energy of experience. It's an energy of someone who has been through many experiences and has come away from those experiences with tools and new capacities and new understandings about life. And so you stand in the nine of wands energy, meaning you have the experience. You have been down the paths that will make an impact. You have gained the learning that will make an impact. You have 
the understanding and the clarity around this issue that will make an impact, right? So you have everything that you need to, to be successful and to find f- fulfillment here. And we see here in these energies that you absolutely do. You absolutely do. Let's look at um, the, the fool card. What is a fool energy? Why is a fool energy here? Please tell us more about this new experience. Please tell us more about this new experience. Six of Wands. Beautiful energy. The lovers. For some of you, this could be a new relationship, right? Because we have the twin flame energy here, which is Gemini, Gemini, and then we have the Six of Wands, which is sometimes a marriage card. But I think for most of you, this is about a working situation, an occupation or a career or something. Um, and then we have the Three of Cups. So let me pull one more energy here. And temperance. All right. So this new experience is, is really something, um, either it, it could be a, re- it could be a new relationship with a twin flame. It definitely could be, right? It could be a twin flame relationship between Sagittarius and Libra, um, Sagittarius and, or Leo, which would be Leo, but this is a Sagittarius type energy it would be Leo and, um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini mix. Um, it could be someone, um, a, a Gemini. So we have Gemini here twice. And the rest of the energies are open. Um, we have Sagittarius twice, which is, is a Leo-ish type energy. So again, I do feel like for most of you, this is about work. This is about finding fulfillment in what we do every day in our lives. This is something that's going to bring a lot of harmony and um, it's going to bring balance into your, into your emotional space. So it's going, you're going to, you're going to definitely feel, um, emotionally fulfilled in this new experience. While it could be, um, a little bit intimidating here with the six of wands, six of wands is overcoming fear and rising up above the crowd to step forward and do something new, do something different. Um, this is often an energy, um, of being seen, of being in the public in some way. This is also an energy of, of being rewarded for some kind of, of work that you've done. So whatever this is, this is feeling very balanced. This is feeling very harmonious about this decision. That's why you have the Queen of Swords here standing up for what you've decided to do, being a self-advocate for what you've decided to do, either with a spouse, with a family member, um, with your children, whatever this is, sticking up and saying, this is what I would like to do with my life now. I would like to have a new experience. I would like to have passion. I would like to have emotional fulfillment in my life. And I would like to do something to help someone. Right. I would like to make an impact in this world. And so you basically um, you you move forward into a, into a situation um, being very grounded, um, being being willing to step up and move forward, taking a risk, um, feeling like this is an opportunity of a lifetime, feeling the celebration, feeling the, the happiness from the people around you to see your success feeling all of that and, and having patience, having patience to um, allow the situation to, to gain some momentum, to gain some strength as you begin it, right? Because things don't just pop off right immediately. It takes time. It takes effort. It takes work. It takes putting in um, those hours every day, those necessary duties every day to continue the momentum forward, right? And so that's the tempers energy to moderate how fast you want to move to, to allow yourself time to be compassionate towards yourself as you, as you do something different you've never done before. But there is definitely here a transition period from one situation that kept you, um, for, for some time not feeling content about the situation and feeling worried and confused moving from that situation into a brand new, um, a brand new position here that's going to bring um, a, a beautiful, a beautiful sense of emotional uh, fulfillment to you and a peace and a, and a, and a journey of peace and solitude. Um, either you're helping people find their own peace and their own solitude, or you're finding that for yourself and, and making some kind of movement towards peace for yourself. All right. Thank you so much.